one another week another video and as per usual it's saturday and i'm finally doing something so you saw i had my breakfast i made omelette and coffee couldn't fucking flip that thing so it doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing as i wished but it is what it is and as you can see i'm all ready now put makeup on still have wet hair but it's fine it's gonna dry in a bit and i'm thinking to go to shortage like shortage and brick lane so i found this like quite nice coffee shop in brick lane but also in shortage box park there's like a new korean tea place so they're doing matcha they're also doing bingsu and like korean style waffles so i'm thinking i'm gonna try that as well at least the ice cold matcha they have like strawberry one which i'm very intrigued in and want to do some work as well because i have a few ideas what i can do you know i just need to kind of put my thoughts together and stuff so i'm taking my laptop have like a little productive session and take you along with so let's go Good morning, it's Sunday, so I didn't vlog yesterday after I got back home because I was absolutely knackered. I actually had a really lovely day on the end, so I was very pleased about that. Um, it was a pride yesterday in London, so I was quite lucky because shortage in Brooklyn in general wasn't as that busy because obviously everyone was in Central for pride, so I... I went to Cafe 1001, 1001, I don't know really how to, how you should read that. I had a nice flat white and carrot cake and then I got myself an apparel spritz. So it was really nice and I was like working on my laptop, doing like little brainstorming and stuff, which I think went really well. So I was very pleased with that. Then I went for a salt beef bagel to the bagel shop i love that shop i probably start going there i think it was last summer it was like like my go-to when i was in the area uh it was six pounds with the pickle or gherkin or whatever you call it and as per usual it was absolutely delicious the bagel was nice and salty a little bit salty and salt with the, the crispy edge and the beef as always chef's case so i can highly recommend if you're in london what else then i went to chaum i believe chaum i don't really know how to pronounce it the matcha place honestly it was one of the best matchas i had in london and i adore matcha i get in matcha in any possibility um, and usually I get it like, you know, like Pratt and black cheap coffee, which is kind of like the chain coffee shops and blank street coffee. And then if I go to like independent coffee shops and they have it, then I always take it. But honestly, this one, like you can tell it's a Korean, 
like Korean theme and and Korean actually owns the shop because that matcha was so smooth. I got the strawberry matcha and it was just delicious. And honestly, the matcha with the same quality, taste and smoothness I had in Korea. So that literally made my day. So I think that's my new go-to place for matcha. They have like a tea room as well in Farringdon, which is not far from my work so I was thinking maybe on my lunch break I can sneak and get it but we'll see while I'm at work but yeah I need to think about it yet um and then what else I did oh yeah because the um, shortage wasn't really busy and in Liverpool street in general like it was all right so I was like oh let me check the Italy place um hmm, I think it's overrated Obviously, if you're a big fan of Italian and love like the salamis and cheese and pasta and everything, then obviously you, you're probably gonna love it, love it a lot. But to me, I just walked through, I took a few shots and I was like, interesting, but I can pass. There's nothing like I need to, like I didn't even feel the urge to like buy something. Like for example, when I, and that's the thing, that's like the preferences I have, because if I go, if I find like a new Asian shop, and I know they're gonna have the same shit as in every single one, but I always buy something. It's like either a snack or at least a drink. When I went there, I was like, cool, but I don't want anything. I don't want to try anything, right? And also it's quite pricey, I have to say, so just bear that in mind. And after that, I actually uh, decided to walk towards, like original plan was go to bank, because I was like, it's not too busy, you know? So that's a nice walk and then I realized like if I go literally down the road I will be uh I can end in London Bridge which I was like that's again on order line which I need to take anyways back home so I walked to London Bridge and it was kind of bittersweet so when I first time started to have like a proper office job in London it was like it's gonna be almost five years ago which is insane but uh my offices were in Moorgate and that's when I actually started my yesterday's adventure. I was like, you know, let's let's go down the memory lane. And the office I used to work is all gone. There's like a new building, which I recorded. And then when I was walking through, I was a bit like, oh my God, because my second job was, uh, the first office was in, this, um, but the first office was in Angel. And then we moved to Allgate. So I was always going to London Bridge and then, been walking to Allgate to we work and you know just seeing like how the city changed a lot I was a bit like wow like I never thought of it so I was actually taking like the same route as I was taking always and I saw all these like new buildings and I was like what the fuck so that was that and I realized actually I do missing uh working in a city I get up financially strict because at the moment I absolutely hate, 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 hate going to the office and we go in like two days a week and I'm like, thanks fucking God. My current office is in Chancery Lane, right? So what I do, I always go to Tottenham Court and then I walk. Or if I'm super late, I'm taking the centre line. But because Tottenham Court for me is usually when I'm meeting, when it's my free time, I'm meeting someone, like meeting my sister, or before we usually been meet, I was usually meeting there with my friends because obviously you go everywhere. I love going to Soho. I have so many favorite places there. So we always kind of met in Tottenham Court because it was easy to go like Oxford Street or Marbourge, Soho, Le Leicester Square, you know, Covent Garden, etc. So that place I have like I always associated with like my free time and with stuff I like, like with pleasure. But once I started working there, I just, I hated when, when I was working like properly in the city, it was like London Bridge Walk or even that Angel, or even then I was in Vauxhall. It felt like, okay, I'm going to work and then I can easily separate it on the weekends. So, you know, that made me think, I was like, oh, it'd be very cool again to be like in the city and going there for the office. So... So that was that. That was that realization that obviously I would hate it as well because so many people are so busy and getting tube to bank or to London Bridge is always a fucking hustle. However, 
because you surrounded to lots of people literally in business and everyone's rushing and everything i kind of missing that so yeah it's kind of just like thought i had yesterday and before i went to london bridge i booked to one of my favorite tk maxis which i've been always going when i used to work in the financial district so i got myself a leggings just like a basic black ones but this one is the 90 degree brand and this is literally one of my favorite favorite brand for leggings so i think i discovered them in like 2016 in tk max so i had like two pairs but then when i moved to us i've just got obsessed because they have so many they have them in marshalls and they had them in tj max and they're actually quite cheap like back in the home saying back in the day but in that uh, time they've been about like 12 to maximum 16 pounds so i was always stocking up on them and everything now these ones were 20 quid which is now a bit higher but i kind of get it but you know every time i see them in tk max i'm just buying them so i got actually extra large because obviously I gained my weight, gained weight, even though I still have pairs from 2017, 2018, which are size large and they fits. But when I compare large and extra large, I was like, okay, let me get the bigger one just in case and just be comfy. And then I got myself this agenda for 2024, but it's actually starting in july and i realized i don't have calendar and i'm missing that i love to put my notes you know schedule stuff and i was like if you look so it's like this so you have the dates and then you have a to-do list and notes so it's like it'll be really handy when i'm like planning my videos and you know scheduling activities etc so i got that and that was 7.99 which is not too bad and then, yes, then I went home, had dinner, was on the phone with my sister because she was working this weekend. So we chatted a lot. And then I watched this YouTube video for Daniel Simmons. And he was actually talking about how he feels stuck at the moment, in uh, stuck in life. And I was like, I can really relate. And that's exactly how I'm feeling. And that's why I'm feeling like, I think, depressed and everything. So kind of hearing the way he's kind of dealing with it and how he's acknowledging uh, the fact that he's stuck and, you know, he should be thinking about the bigger picture and da, 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 da. It really resonated with me. And it actually was really nice to watch that before I went to bed. So I will link the video down below as well for you that you can check it out. Um, and yeah, that was basically it. So as per usual, I'm gonna do my Aldi shop, edit video, do the cooking, tidy up my room, you know, all the chores for Sunday, change my sheets, um, and get ready for tomorrow. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye.